Hello everybody and welcome back to another Surviving Java 2 episode where today we have updated the server to 1.20 The update's been out for a couple of weeks now but we've been waiting for a few mods to update before we updated Sadly, some of the ones that I wanted are not included but most of the ones are here so let's jump in and see what we can find in the update The plan for today's episode is I want to try and get the new armor trims, two of them, Ward and Razor are the ones that I'm going to be going with. So we're going to see if we can find some of those. Things I do for pussy, man. Uh, <laughs> ignore that. And with the new update I decided to go with these dragon wings, which are pretty cool. I don't know why this is on the left. Don't know how to turn that off either. <laughs> But yeah, before we go out on an adventure, I'm also going to make a fashion room just by my bedroom to put all the new armour. <laughs> Sadly though, all the hats that I really like don't work anymore. So I'm hoping that's going to be done in the future. If not, I'm going to be very sad, but how do I get this away? I just want my... Ah, there we go. That's better. But yeah, before we get making my room, Steve's here, so hello Steve, holding a slime ball, probably come from Joyce's base. Speaking of Joyce, he did that, Cloud's kitchen with the new emojis, and the hanging sign, so that's pretty cool. I've not personally used the hanging sign yet. That's the copper Steve is oxidising for me. But between the last episode and this one, I actually drained all of this section, refilled it, put the coral back and put a tunnel entrance because me and Sai worked on a tunnel joining our base which is a water tunnel. The tunnels existed for like a year but it was just a simple square waterlogged tunnel and over the last few nights we decorated it up together. So I'll take you and have a look at that which is down here. We did it as a mix of our bases. So we got deep state for size base and I've got a lot of the wood and prismarine to represent my base as well as the leaves. And I think it looks really pretty. It was a nice fun project to do with Sai. We don't usually do builds but it was fun. And it's a nice pretty tunnel joining our base. We sometimes get axolotls spawn, which is really cool, but um, they kill the glow squids that spawn as well, so swings and roundabouts. And this is the entrance to size base. So yeah, we've got two ways to our base now. We've got the boat that we did before. We've got uh, the tunnel. We can also fly if we want to all go through the nether, so four ways. <laughs> Oh, and I can show you my bedroom. Oh, before we get into that, me and Joyce now each have one of these at size base. So if you close the trap door, we teleport here. That's mine. Forget the nickname. I will not explain that right now. <laughs> and so I wrote that. Which is technically true. <laughs> She's also added this section to the side of her base. Sort of mirrors the one on the right. Used to be just the wall there with some chests. But now she's doubled her storage. And this is my secret bedroom that I did without Sino in. And I made sure to put a lot of pink because I know how much she loves pink. So yeah, this is my little bedroom at size. I also have something else new in my base which Joy and Sai worked on together. I didn't work on it. But just next to my slime pen, we have this. Joyce has gone really big into like the random selector boards. He made one at size base as well. And then he made one at mine. And between him and Sai, they chose a load of projects for me to work on. 
So like mushroom farm, sea pickle farm, that farm, <laughs> which is a chicken farm, I believe. So during some episodes, I can use the randomizer and one of these will be selected for me to work on. I hope it's that one, the trap. And we have a disco floor. I actually don't know how this works. Um, do I hit the redstone? Ah, there we go. So yeah, we've got like a disco floor and it's going to randomly select one of my options. But yeah, that isn't going to be today's project. I don't know when I'll do this, but it should be fun when I do. Oh, I need to go into my vault. Because I'm going to be trying to get some armor trims today. I've already got four armor sets ready to customize. Well, half a set. I've just got the shoes and the trousers because... I use the wings and I also don't wear a hat because it covers up my, my crown and my other custom hats. So I only wanted the trousers and the boots. So we've got blue, red, yellow and green. I did want pink but I didn't realise it uses like the gemstones to dye them. I thought it was like the coloured dye. So I can't actually get pink. I can get purple but it's not the one I wanted. So yeah, that's pretty sad. I might still use this armor set that I've got now. This like texture. If I do want pink or something, but I do really just want to use these new armor trims so we can see everyone's custom armor. But I'm sad there's no pink. Because pink, blue and red are my most used. And I wanted to continue that. So this here is gonna actually get upgraded today if we go out on adventure. I'm going to make my fashion room here. I've already dug out some of the back. That is a um, command block. That needs to go. That's what we use to clone some heads for Christmas. It's been there for I don't know how long. Yeah, and this goes into my ender portal lobby thing. And this room we don't talk about. Oh! These doors sound different. Is that just the Neverwood? Or do all of them got different sound effects? That's pretty cool. Oh, and I've got a Lust for Life Lana totem above my bed now as well. But before we get making my room, I actually want to see if I can make one of the new brushes. Because I've been waiting for this brush since it was announced, and then it got cut from the last update, which I was disappointed with. There it is. Oh, that's so makeable. We will make that now. Stick. A feather. And a copper ingot. I forgot the recipe already for it. Let's just muddle these around until it happens. <laughs> there it is. Oh, look, he's got a cool animation. How cool is this? I can do dusting. I can dust my base. That's what this is going to be used for. Let's do a bit of dusting now because I've not ever dusted in my base. The dust must be cluttered up in here. But no more. I will do dusting. Okay, so we're going to have to get rid of all these walls and dispensers. That's where I've got all my shields, so... Probably going to have to put a few chests down. Got all my hats as well. I know they don't work, but I am hoping it'll be updated, so I'm going to keep them. Why can I hear a rail car? Oh, that's my farm, isn't it? My bamboo farm. I am turned off the rail car noises. I'm going to have to fix that in a minute, that's going to drive me mad. But yeah, let's throw all the shields in this chest. I think we only need one chest for all my shields. So what's this sorry about you sending Joy's a tone and not me? Do you love him more? <laughs> yeah, I, I recorded a custom text alert for Joy's. So I guess Sai wants one as well. I will make you one. What do you want mine to say? 
The one I made for Joy said, Yay, Cloud just sent you a new message. I'm sure it would drive him mental in time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear. Really? Joyce is not going to be happy about that. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'm going to pause my recording here for a minute, everybody. I'll be right back. I've got a recorded text message tone for Sai. <laughs> yeah, this is going to cause problems. This is my forbidden library. So, hmm. How am I going to do this? Yeah, I guess that would look okay. If I just put the barrel here. It's easier if I just do it this way. And put all the custom heads into there. Like that. So now to get my armour. That's all of it. And to pop it in my fashion room. My fashion room was going to be a lot more full. But without my hats it's going to have to wait. <laughs> I know I keep mentioning these hats, but I like them. Yeah, slabs look better. Let's put the armor stands on top. Perfect. These are going to be for my four colored sets of Neverite armor. Okay. Put the trousers down there as well. Blue. Yellow. Red. Oh, put them on by accident. Pink, which is now going to be green. Yellow. Blue. And finally red. So there we go. I need to get my book to add some arms. And to also turn off the gravity. And I will put some of my heads on top as well. Or maybe I'll put some hats or helmets. Yeah, and I think I'll put my dispensers there and my shields. Can't put anything there because that goes into my lobby. There's my dispensers and the buttons. So yeah, I think that works pretty well. Okay everybody, so I've now finished my fashion room. I'm pretty happy with it, so should we go and have a look? We've got a little lobby here. And then in here, we've got the four armour sets on the left and the right with my head. I might swap it for a helmet later on. We've got an anvil to name stuff. This is where I keep my shields. And these are where I keep the custom hats. If they ever get fixed. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this little fashion room. I think it's pretty cool. It's nice to have all my armor sets here and ready for which ones I want to choose. I don't know if I'll put elytra behind. I don't have that much elytra, but yeah. Let's go out now and see if we can find the armor trims I need. So we need to find one of them trails where I can use my little archaeology brush. We'll use my copper tunnel because world got trimmed I think it's like 5,000 blocks out all the new stuff trims you can't get me can you? so yeah I'm gonna travel to Joyce's iron farm it's like Colosseum and travel out there's his Colosseum why is that oh that's when me and Sly went to raid his farm <laughs> for our tunnel oh look it's one of the new camels Look, he's bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> I want to tame him. He's a lazy camel, isn't he? Stand up. How do I know if he's tame? Ah, here we go. Look <laughs> at that, it's pretty cool. Is this my vision? I can't see nothing. Oh, that's better.
Uh oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Look who's on fire. Pop his saddle on. Oh wow. It's like a big proper seat on his back. And look, there's space on the back for a second person. That's cool. And he like bobs his head when he walks. And he wiggles his ears. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is like his charge thing. I wonder if that does any damage to anything. Oh, he's not happy. <laughs> so he bobs his head and wiggles his ears. Oh, whoa, look at that village structure. Wow. <laughs> That's a village I would like to live in. Let's have a closer look in free cam. That's pretty cool. Oops, didn't mean to go down there. Wow, look at that. What a structure. Get a nice screenshot of that. And let's get back into our search. As you can see, I've already gone quite a bit of distance. I've not found anything yet, apart from the camel. Is that an upside down boat? Well, I've found the Titanic. I'm finding all the weird structures today, aren't I? Look at this igloo! Right up in the sky! Pretty good timing though, because I need to sleep. The 1.20 generation is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's break through this wall so we've got a nice view. Wow. I don't know what I would like to live in more. The mountain village or this high up igloo. With a really nice view. Oh, the new trees. The cherry blossom. And I've completed a challenge. Wow, look at these. Pink petals. Wow, these are lovely. Definitely want to grab all of these. And I think I'll grab some of the wood and leaves and see if I can get some saplings as well. Might as well, consider I'm here. Okay, so I threw a fit into the shulker that I collected. Got quite a few leaves, saplings, petals, and wood. And I think I'll just get this last bit of wood here. It is quite nice. I do like this. I'm for sure going to use those petals. They're so pretty. We might as well just have a quick look in this boat. So I know the armor trims can spawn in these as well. It's not one I'm after for my current armor set. But if I can find a new one I definitely would like to. Let me in. Oh I have done that. Two of them I found. Wow, that's like a bit of luck. Coast armor trim. Okay everybody, at last. I think, I'm not sure, but I think that is what I'm looking for behind me. I can dig down. I was flying around for about half hour until I realized it was underground. I thought I was looking for some like half buried village. And then I googled it. And it said you just need to find a bit of gravel with some terracotta on. So I flew around for another 30 minutes. But now I finally found it. I think I will get my sponges out as well. So it looks like this is underwater. Or at least partly underwater. There they are. Okay. Not sure exactly how this works. I know I've got to be gentle. Oh look! What is it? <laughs> that made me jump. I don't know why that made me jump so much. Is that all that's in there? A bit of yellow glass? 
How the did that get in there? This is pretty cool. I think I'm getting to the main structure now. Let's get rid of the water. Oh, we got something else. What's that? Is that a candle? Yeah, a brown candle. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if the dirt does it as well. I've not found anything in the dirt yet. Oh, we've got something else. Oh, well, it's something new. Oh, that's one of those shards to make a pot. Oh, I forgot those were here. Oh, that'd be good if I could get enough to make a pot. Oh, that is one of those trims sharper armor trim oh i thought it was gonna be my razor that's annoying i got excited then i'm gonna add my trim that's another trim oh no that's a music disc oh awesome new music disc everybody i also forgot that was here so yeah, that's pretty cool. Two unexpected surprises. This is pretty relaxing. Oh, something else. Is it Razor? <gasps> Razor! Yay! I got it! That's going to be the one for my trousers. Now I think I only need one. Because I'm pretty sure I can make Jeep clips. At least I hope so. So, these are all the things I found on my expedition. Lots of different pottery things. I got the music disc. And I got three armor trims. One of which I need for my own set. And this is all the junk I found. Or dug away. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I didn't expect it to be this big. It's a really great edition. It's really cool. Yeah, see how big it is. It's ridiculous. And it still goes on, but I've been doing this for about 40 minutes now. So I will mark this in case I want to come back and finish it off. But as of now, I've got everything that I need. So let's collect all my stuff. And we'll head home to make my trousers. I'm going to have to get the ward trim at a different time. Because this episode's getting on a bit. And to get the ward or not, I need to go to an ancient city. And I do not want to do that today. Before we make my trousers, let's name these two things as mementos. So the brush can be first, trails, success. And I'm also going to name the yellow glass as jump glass. Concerned it was the first thing I brushed away and it also made me jump. Don't know why it made me jump. Yeah, let's put them over here. Two more additions to my memento wall. Now let's make some more of these trims. There it is, razor. So to do this, I need one terracotta. I've only got two pieces of terracotta, so I'm going to have to go and get more. And seven diamonds each. But I can make three altogether. I'll keep one as obviously the duplicate one. And the other two I'll make now. So maybe I'll make the blue and red version. So let's go to my armour. Let's put one in there. And get one lapis and one redstone. So here's the blue trousers. Oops. And here are the red trousers. So we'll put the blue trousers in the middle. The lapis on the right. And one of the trims on the left. And there they are. 
These don't look exactly as they will because I've still got my other texture pack on. But I'll turn that off now and we'll have a quick look at them. So resources. Um, Gilded Neverite I think it is. So now I should just have the normal Neverite. Like that. And let's see what they look like. Okay, so these are my blue trousers. Ooh. I look like a little lapis person. And I chose this one because it looks like it's got like a little buckle. See, like a buckle. Going through a blue belt. And there's the red one. So now it sort of works. Now I don't have a chest piece. Because I've got like a little buckle. So yeah, these are pretty cool. I'm happy with these. I still have to get the boots, which I'll do another time. But until I've got the boots sorted, I am going to continue wearing my texture pack. So these can go back. But that's half the job done. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make one of those pots. Which one should I use? I can use up to four. I think I'll have a heartbreak on the left and a heart on the right. So it's sort of like mirrored on the front and the back is like a heart and a broken heart. And then I could just have some bricks. No, actually I do want all four sides done. So heart and heartbreak. Oop, that's two. And then I think I'll have maybe danger and burn. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so where should we put it? Maybe over there. Don't have anything over here. Oh wow, that's bigger than I thought it was. That's well bigger, I thought it was going to be half the size. Yeah, let's not put that there then. Maybe... Yeah, let's put it on the smithing table. Yeah, I think that's alright. See the broken heart and the heart? I think I'd like the heart facing at the front. Oh, look at that. And let's also play my new music disc. I've no idea what this sounds like. Oh, it sounds interesting. Let's do a little dance. Sounds pretty 80s. My parents are loving it though. So yeah, that's my first episode in 1.20. We've got half my armor sorted. I need to go and fight the warden soon to get my shoes. And I'll also go exploring some of the other features as well. So, I hope everyone enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.